Lots of folks love MSRs, our modern sporting rifles. They are the fastest screen platform for hunting and for good reasons. Most folks don't know that the AR-15 was marketed back in the late 50s and early 60s as an MSR and well before it was adopted by the military. Now, another interesting fact is AR stands for Armalite Rifle, not Assault Rifle or Automatic Rifle. And interesting history, you should really check it out. Anyway, you know, there is a long list of why it is the best hunting platform in my opinion, you know, MSR, Modern Sporting Rifle. Now, there has been few options for the larger calibers in the AR platform beyond the 308 and the 6.5 Creedmoor, although those are hugely popular. But a lot of people are hunting bigger game and they need something like 30-06 or 300 win mag. Now, many, many of you have heard of BCA or Bear Creek Arsenal, and they are one of the few companies out there that offer some of the larger calibers, you know, bigger than 308, such as 270, 300 win mag, and the 30-06. Now, this is going to get a lot of folks' interest, especially for hunting. The only real question is, is how does it perform? Let's check it out in BCA's Huntmaster in the 30-06. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where you only get product reviews, no pulpit, no podium, and no politics. I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, take a quick look at the specs and tech and an up close of this, and let's get going. So, the gun is so long, it's really hard to do out of the box, yeah. Uh, turkey over there. Anyway, just want to show you real quick kind of what we've got here. We've got the Magpul stock and this opens up and you've got a compartment there. It's awesome. You can look up the Magpul. You do have the ability to do quick detach and so you can put those little inserts in and so that basically gives you four quick detach on the stock. You know, it's got this nice Magpul grip and then just kind of, you know, classic AR. Now this is a right size charging handle okay side charging handle so you do have to unscrew this and this comes out to take the bcg completely out the bcg it's huge um they've got a proprietary mag here it's a five round mag um, and i already have the optic on here and yeah we're going to review that and then just the foregrip and then we've got quick detach on both sides and then we've got a little rail here we got a whole lot of real estate for M lock, and then we have you know BCA's classic uh, muzzle device, muzzle brake, whatever you want to call it. Now, real quick, if you're not familiar with BCA's uh, the right side charging, okay, we do have this back here, and so when we break it open like normal, we just have to take this out and remove that, and then the BCG comes out. Other than that, everything else is pretty much standard. AR. So now I almost forgot this has a custom trigger and guys it is a sweet trigger and I am a trigger snob. God that is a no creep. I almost if I didn't know better was a trigger tech. Man the, the reset on that is crazy stupid short. I love it. That's awesome. Let's just see what we got here for pull. I'm guessing maybe two and a half, three pounds. Three? Yeah, I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, that one's three and a half. That one was four. That's more like it. Three. I mean, it feels it feels less than three to me. 
But yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Nice. You can go on the web page and see um, exactly what that trigger is, but we can see it in there. Again, sweet trigger. For the optic, I wanted something really nice, high end. I'm gonna use and review Primary Arms PLX 5 to 6 to 30 by 56 FFP ACSS Apollo with the 6.5 reticle. Yeah, that's a mouthful. PA or Primary Arms makes some really nice optics. This is their flagship highest end optic. It seemed fitting for this review. I'm also going to use Hornady ammo. Special thanks to Hornady for supplying the ammo for this review. We've got several different loads. You know, I have had outstanding accuracy with their ammo. Let's just get it zeroed, season the barrel, and see what we can get for groups. Now, for how to properly season a barrel, I consulted several of the world's top barrel makers years ago, and I did a video on that. The link will be here. Um, check that out for specific details. Real quick, folks, would you like to find guns and ammo at crazy, stupid prices? I kid you not. I find the best deals out there. Just go to my webpage and sign up for the emails that cost you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. Links below in the description and also here on the screen. It'll take you straight to the sign up page. Also, same thing on my Twitter slash X page only in real time. Find those crazy, stupid deals on ammo you only wish you could find. But don't take my word. Go see for yourself. You definitely will want to check out my webpage while you're at it. Lots of good stuff there, folks. I don't sell anything. I just find the deals and provide the links. Let's just get back to the review. Thanks for your time. Okay, real quick, this is what we're going to use for ammo. We're going to start small or light and work our way up. I'm going to do five-shot groups. Let it... You know, sort of cool back down for five minutes and then do another five shot group and then we'll move on to the next and we'll just repeat that and we'll see what we get. Okay, got a beautiful morning here before any wind kicks up. Um, we're going to start grouping and see what we get for accuracy. I do want to say for a 30 out 6 it has very manageable recoil. Um, it, it's interesting because it is definitely heavier than a 308. Um, and I'll show you here, we'll do kind of maybe, maybe I'll do a slow-mo, but it's more of a, a big push. You know, some of you have shot, um, and I think some of it depends on the gas system. It feels like a sharp punch into the shoulder. I've had shoulder reconstruction. Actually, I'm doing rehab on my shoulder again. Um, and so I'm, I'm pretty sensitive to that, and this does not bother it at all. <laughs> okay that's not too bad you want to see what i'm using i have no idea how old this is it's actually in bandoliers in the m1 mags i'm guessing 50s 60s but you know this is what i have for surplus and yeah i know it's, it's probably not recommended but um i didn't have enough of the good stuff so for seasoning the barrel you gotta check out the groups with this. I'll show you what I'm getting for a field of view. Hopefully this will this will work here. There we go. That's what I'm seeing here at a hundred yards. Yeah, that's an awesome sight picture, guys. Let's go take it. Okay, so what we have here, that, <laughs> that says super old military surplus ammo, okay? And then we're moving across. This is the, I think the 150, and then the 165, and then the 180. And then there's that Winchester soft point. And then, because I had cleaned, and then we came back, that, that is actually... A really nice group and that's 
consistent. We might do another one, maybe a 10 shot group, but that's the 115. It clearly likes, at least in this case, the lighter bullet. And I'm sure the military surplus is probably a 147. Um, anyway, and then, yeah, I, I, we're really fairly consistent here. And I think it's just the weight and the barrel just isn't really liking that. Just want to show you what we have for a field of view at four and 500 yards. If we dial out a little bit, we can actually see a little bit better. The glass guys, I mean, it, usually it's terrible with the camera and the phone, but that is crystal clear. The glass doesn't get much better than that. And that's dialed out. We're at, we're at about 15 power there. Okay, something that I find really says a lot about a gun is how fast and accurate you can get shots off at an extreme distance and for most people your average shooter 500 yards is an extreme distance for you know sharpshooters and people with skill that's uh, that's not so much but let's see i'm gonna use um the five mark in here i know that this is for the six five creedmoor but let's just see if five puts us on the steel and then how fast we can get off the shot There we go. Okay, I need to go five and a half. Okay, I think five and a half. Let's see how fast we can get four shots here. Nice. I wish I had boxes and boxes of 30 odd six ammo. We could have an absolute blast. All right, I'm gonna let the barrel cool down here and we're gonna see what we can get for groups. If you know anything about shooting for accuracy, you actually want to, and I've got a video out there when I shot uh, the first time in a mile and I got a professional spotter, the gunny, and he was walking me through. You actually want to have as little contact with the gun as possible, which means that it's not even necessarily snug into my shoulder. You know, that's when you're shooting like standing or in combat or whatever but when we're shooting for accuracy you know i really don't want a lot that is going to make it move so i don't necessarily i want to show you the recoil i'm going to actually just kind of snug it in like most of you are used to so that you can actually see the recoil with that um, i've got to kind of warm up the barrel here before we get into the good stuff i've just got some some range ammo here let's uh let's fire off a shot And see, part of why you, you try not to touch it, and especially with the bench like this, is I've got a really strong heart, and you see it, you see it moving the reticle. Versus if I if I really don't touch it, um, and we'll try another one here, and I'll, I'll try not to touch it too much. The problem is, is and actually it doesn't with this. The recoil is so manageable with this. I was doing a sighting in a seven mil mag once uh, in a Thompson contender. <laughs> and, and I, yeah. Anyway, the scope jumped back and split my brow open because I'm so used to firing, you know, semi-autos and firing for accuracy. Anyway, let's just get to work here and see what we can get for some groove. So I just cleaned the barrel between the first five shot groups. You know, I had the military surplus. Um, before I dive back into, you know, the, the higher quality ammo, I've got a really old box here, a Winchester that I used to use for hunting with my M1 Garand. Uh, let's see what we get for groups with this and kind of, I guess, basically dirty the barrel back up.
Okay, so what you see here is, is interesting. You're seeing the groups shrink as the barrel's getting broke in. You know, up there, and then there, and then there. And it also is confirming that it likes the lighter load. I mean, this is, that's really not bad. That's 10 shots, okay? In, I mean, no break in between or anything. You know, here, now this one was interesting because the first four shots were here. Um, I think two, two were touching somewhere. And then, so I loaded five, shot, and then I shot again and it moved over here so that one was definitely responding to uh the barrel warming up and then that one was just really pretty consistent with the others okay so i think the barrel is actually really broken in and i did get uh a new one to try so what i'm going to do is i want to do five more shots of each with five five minutes in between and just see what we get for final groups the last round of groups drop go back out here you know that was the 180 grain and you know that's not bad out of the five those three um i think these were fairly consistent i we'd have to go back and look that was the 165 grain now there is two shots right there so that's five shots but that was consistent with earlier this is the new one that i got in the mail today and yeah, that's awesome. So that's the fifth shot, if you want to call that a flyer, um, which I really like because this shows with the right ammo. And today is a really crappy, windy day, guys. That's why I didn't actually video. But that's awesome. It loves that round. And then we had the 150 grain, just the, you know, basically kind of the cheap deer hunting. And that's really solid, too. And that was fairly consistent with before. So... We take those groups and you can kind of do the calculations and you can figure out what kind of spread you're going to get at 200, 300, 400, 500. Anyway, there you go. It is what it is. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, make sure and hit that subscribe. Well, hit the subscribe anyway, but especially if you found it helpful, like and comment. Until next time. Happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that you're on the range, everybody's watching you. That makes you an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So do us all a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.